Hi, welcome to Spotlight. I'm Dan Davis. And I'm Ben Janoka. And uh, this is Carrie. Miss, can you tell us a little bit about who you are and what you're doing here? I'm Carrie. I work with the Department of Community Services. I work on the promotions for all of the events. Okay, and can you tell us a little bit more about this event, Sleeping Under the Stars? Sure, it's Sleep Under the Stars, one of our biggest, most popular events that we do every year. And so, um, very basic level, it is a family camp out event. So people can come with their tents and all their gear and their family and camp right here, actually literally right where we're standing. We have full of tents um, and we provide all the entertainment and music and lots of things for you to do all day on October 1st. And what does it cost to get into uh, Sleep Under the Stars? A free admission and activities are also free. Wow. And, um, you know, I'm sure that Sleep Under the Stars usually uh, was closer to Halloween in the previous years. Uh, why the sudden change in the uh, scheduling? Well, we were very close to Halloween last year. Um, we were asked to move it up, mostly for weather, to make sure that we had better weather. Um, and so we did. So we moved it up to October 1st this year. Okay. And, um... There's a there's a theme about superheroes I hear about uh, this one. Yeah. Can you tell me about that? Yes, the official title is Fall Super Sleep Under the Stars. So superheroes is our big theme. And um, so we are going to be having a superhero dance party. And we're going to be doing a superhero costume contest. Superhero, you're going to be making capes. Um, there are going to be comic book vendors here. Um, we have tons of stuff. We actually have a, a truck coming with video games inside of it that you can play. Oh, I, I did that yep. at that Anime awesome. Day. That was awesome. The same, yeah, the same thing as Anime Day. We figured out a way for you to play video games on big screens while you're camping. So um, that's going to be happening. Um, we have a superhero movie, The Incredibles. Hey. an incredible movie. And um, tons of stuff. So, oh, we're at, but even though it's early in October and it's not technically a Halloween theme, we are still doing tent to tent trick or treating like we do every year, and people are still encouraged to decorate their tents. But this year, kind of in a superhero theme. And we can also dress up, right? Oh, uh, and you, everybody can dress up. Yes, dress up um, as villains or as superheroes, whatever you want, anything that's related to superheroes, dress up as. We're trying to keep people from doing really kind of gory, spooky, Halloween y type of things. We have a lot of little ones. But anything else? Um, come on, we had a whole family last year dress up as like everybody from from Batman. It was great. It was like from Grandpa all the way on to Littles. It was like Batman, Batgirl, and Two Face, and Poison Ivy. And so people had a lot of fun. Was Grandpa dressed as Alfred? Grandpa was Penguin. Oh, okay. So we got to know who are you dressing up as this upcoming sleep? Stars. Or you got to keep it a secret. <laughs> yeah, it's a secret. It's my secret identity. Ah. <laughs> All right, so to my understanding, the place we're standing right now is where the tents will be erected come Sleep Under the Stars. Is that right? That is correct. That is absolutely true. Yes, this whole place, all the way down, <laughs> all the way over here. No. Yes, tents will be everywhere. Um, so where we're standing now is, which is this great big open meadow field thing, is where all the tents set up. And we can set up tons and tons of tents here. Um, at one time, actually, um, some of the stars, the population of the event exceeded the population of Newark. Oh my god. Wow. <laughs> so people poured in from other states to come here. Yeah, I mean, that's a, that hasn't happened in a few years, but that has happened. So, um, so yeah, lots of tents, and then all the events happen behind us here. So we have the big Showmobile, we're going to be showing the movie on that, the DJ's going to be there, um, other entertainment, and then um, food trucks over there, and then, and then um, tent crafts and all this other stuff and cool stuff. Oh, and you know what I didn't mention? We're having Spider-Man and Supergirl and Thor and Captain America. Oh my yes! god! <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah, They're coming to Newcastle County for Sleep Under the Stars on October 1st? Here at Carousel Park! Yep. But, Carrie, what if, what if I don't really feel like sleeping over? I mean, can I just come here and just enjoy myself and go home peacefully? Did you ever camp out in your backyard? When I was kicked out of the house, yes. <laughs> well, if anybody knows, when you would do backyard camping and you would 
and all day, putting the camp, the tent out, and do everything, and go in, and then, you know, you go to sleep, and then at about 2 o'clock in the morning, you decide you really want to go back in the house and sleep. That's what kind of sleepover stars can be if you're not really into the rugged sleep overnight in a park type of thing. It's kind of like, you know, low stakes, backyard camping, tons of fun, and if something happens, you can just pack it all up, go home, it's low stakes, you're not, like, far away from your home, that's what makes it, I think, so cool and allows people to really relax and have a lot of fun. So, absolutely, you can come with a tent and pack it up, or you don't have to bring a tent at all, and you can just walk around and pretend you don't have a tent, and enjoy, no, you don't have to pretend you have a tent, but you can just enjoy, you can come just to enjoy all the activities up through the movie. Awesome, awesome. Well, I'm really, 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 really excited to come out to this event. Mm -hmm. It sounds fantastic. And do we have any more questions we need to ask, Dan? Carrie, what is your favorite part about this event? How much fun people have, which sounds really corny, but people have so much fun. And with the DJ dance party and everything, and so it's really cool because you come, you have you set your ca camp up so you have home base, and so you can just come and go from your tents as you please and relax, and people really relax and have a lot of fun. We have some fantastic food trucks, people can have lots of treats from all over, and then we also do the bonfires, so bonfires, you can come, or it's hot dogs, or s'mores, whatever you like, and people just really relax and have a good time spend time with their community and spend time with their family and that's why we do the events in the first place. Okay, and one last thing, and this might sound a little bit redundant, but when and where? It is October 1st here at Carousel Park, which is in Pike Creek, 3700 Limestone Road. Um, Load-in begins if you are camping at 10 a.m., um, but most of the activities begin at noon. So, I mean, if you show up at 10 a.m. and you're not intending to camp, there's not really going to be a lot going on other than watching people set up tents. Um, so, activities start at noon. Activities go all the way until about 10 p.m. Uh, the the uh, movie goes on, I think, at 8.30, 9 o'clock. And you can just show up, too. There's no prior signing. You don't know. You can register online if you want to. That'd be fantastic, especially if you're in, uh, you are um, planning on camping because it just makes your check-in easier. Um, you t will be asked to register if you show up, but it's it's free to register and you can come and you can register on site. Even if you're planning on camping and bringing a bunch of people, you can register on the day. You can wake up on the first and say, "Let's go camping," and come on out and no hassle. We'll sign you up, get you set up, and you can enjoy the day. What if I don't have a tent? Can I make a teepee? <laughs> Uh, well, it depends. You have to make sure, you know, it gets really cold at night. So I don't want you to have, you know, feel overconfident in your... What about a Hogan? <laughs> I don't know. We do actually have a small quantity of tents to uh, borrow from our department. So um, you can call 395-5652 uh, you can call, uh, if you would like to do that, and we can let you know if we have any available. Awesome, awesome. Uh, ben, do you have anything left to say? Well, no, Dan, except for the fact that Sleeping Under the Stars, or Sleep Under the Stars, was our very first video with the county. That's right, it and, was, uh, Ben. I'm very much excited for this reunion at this very, very special event. It's not a reunion. It's an anniversary. Why do you always have to correct me all the time? <laughs> so, but, but, that's... Sleep Under the Stars, October 1st, right here at Carousel. Ben, come on, come back, man. I was just kidding.